Take two, reshoot. We got too offensive on the first one. <laughs> uh, what is it? Killing a Business, episode three. Point five. Top Gun, Forever Young. Yeah, we had to cut the first one. Yeah, Max got a little too bitter and Who's started Max? saying, You want to put some a, people over It was a over slow before. week. Was it a slow yeah, week? Yeah, it was brother? a slow week, brother. There's like not really anything going on. It's the week before. Well, I guess week before WrestleMania, there's shows, but people, week, everyone's trying to stay out of drama because they think they can get on the wrestle. They hope exactly. Somebody, they hope somebody don't show up to Mania. Exactly. So they can get exactly. Spot. We should go to Mania just to help out, brother. Brother, you can barely walk. We're going to Mania. <laughs> uh, I mean, why not get a pity pass? So we starting with putting someone over first. Yeah, we'll start with putting someone over. Why not? All right. It's time for the segment. Gotta put him over, brother. Gotta put you over, brother. Number two. Number two. Because we don't just talk shit on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, let's get this part over with. We just <laughs> we just sit down and talk about shit. Yeah, shoot the shit. Exactly. I'll go first. So, this week, it was really hard for me to pick last week, but it was between these two people. So, since I picked Alex last week, I'm picking Jason Hotch this week. Oh, I... I knew it. Top notch, Jason Hotch. I gotta put him over, brother, because I already put him over all the time. Uh, like we just watched like four of his matches before we came in here. You know, <laughs> this is why people say we're marks, this brother. Why, brother? Do you care what they say? I mean, not really. Whose ass are they gonna be? Yours or mine? I beat. I'm on one leg. <laughs> like, well, anyway, I want to put Jason over because I think he's. One of the best in the whole state, on the East Coast, and he is so nice to me. He watches my match, same as Alex, pretty much. Uh, he watches my matches. He tells me how I can get better in person, always. Uh, he picked me to have a match with him, like uh, what's this? Bub or Metro Pro let him pick one of the green guys to have a match with, and he picked me. Uh, so that that meant a lot because he was like my favorite guy, and he hand picked me. And it was my best match for, like, what felt like a year. It probably wasn't a year. Like, six months. It was my best match for a long time. Damn. So, yeah. It didn't happen a year ago, so I can't say it was my best match for a year. But, yeah. I'm putting him over. Jason Hodge. Yeah, not a surprise there, you Mark. <laughs> God. <laughs> Look at these Marks doing the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, that's what some fans will say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of fans, look at uh, them. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you want to tell the bike story? Uh, you didn't put someone over yet. <laughs> oh, right. I got to put somebody. You, <laughs> just I'll, trying to go I'm right sorry. to shit talk. Before we bury somebody, let, let me put somebody over. I'm going to put. Who it's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to put over a My? referee turned wrestler. Oh, okay. Big ass John. One of the best referees in Michigan, unfortunately. Who is it? Big Ass John. What is his real name? John Lowe. There we go. <laughs> That's what he's called, though. Okay. But I'm putting him over. He's genuinely one of the nicest people to be around. John is so cool. He's so cool. And I enjoy being around him at shows. And he's good at his job. You gotta love a ref that is good at their job. Yeah, because like when, we first, well, when I first got in... Brother, some of the refs I saw, I was like, "Ooh, brother." Yeah, yikes! I know one in particular, brother. Trust me. Ugh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm. I can't say enough nice things about him. He stopped the match at Metro Pro when I got thrown into the chairs. He gave me some time to recover and rest, so that was dope. Then he restarted the match when I asked him to, so he listens when he's out there. So shout out John Lowe. Yeah, he's been paying his dues for like three years now. Exactly, he's been training for three years, but he's about to start wrestling. Yeah. But fuck you for attacking me at FU. Yeah. Yeah. We're too far in at this point, <laughs> alright? We're too far in. Well, anyway, the Wrestling Rage Awards came out since yeah. last time. And we didn't win any of them. Shouts out to Brutus for winning Rookie of the Year. Shouts out to Jason Hotch and Alex Weir for winning pretty much Every everything other else. Award, Jason Hotch had like four fucking trophies. <laughs> yeah. So, we decided to create our own awards. Yes, so because we can't win any real ones. This show is called The Greenies. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The we Greenies. We should have a fancy-ass so, intro. 
the thing is we're just gonna do awards there's gonna be a couple of them and the only nominees are green kids so our friends some of them some of them are yes uh, <laughs> so we don't have a lot of friends yeah we don't what qualifies someone as a green kid you gotta be doing it you gotta ha have had your first match in the last two years so that's 2022 21 and 20 22 because 22 just started I mean, we in March. Yeah, it just started. That's fair enough. It's first, this is the first half. Yeah, fair. First up, we got Green Kid finishing move of the year. Finishing Ooh. move. So I, I got some some nominees, right? Okay. I we like got that. we got <clears throat> Forever Young's copyright strike. Of course, of course. Top Guns Frog Splash. Nobody kicks out <laughs> except for Adam Wick. We got, of course, the prize fighter Dante's knockout punch. That is to the top and at, at the top. It's at the top. We got the world's swampiest slam. You put that in, didn't you? No, that's Brutus's finisher. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got solo stomp from Springboard Stomp. I don't know what he calls it, but it's pretty cool. What do you think? Finisher, green kid finisher of the year. All right. Are we going to say it at the same time? Okay, sure. All right. Three, two, one. So Dante Cassin. <laughs> Dante's punch. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it is. It does knock people out. It does knock people out. You remember when he knocked out ABZ? <laughs> yeah, he fucking cling clocked his ass. Oh, he took his ass out. Oh, no. But my favorite Dante stop or Dante punch is when he did a rip cool. <laughs> He did a ripcord punch. I'll never forget it. And that's almost as epic as the ripcord Irish whip. Hey, no, they have a fucking ripcord Irish whip, bro. The ripcord Irish whip is the greatest wrestling move of all time. Holy it was cow. whip, re whip, rip ripcord. Whip. Irish whip. So, I, you know what, oh since we talked about it more, congratulations to Dante on the finisher of the year. Shouts the out Dante. The knockout punch. Yeah. Shows up and helps out at every fucking show. Shouts out to him. Shouts out to him. Uh, he helps out more than we do. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. What do I know, though? Um, You know. The best entrance music. Oh, oh God. That, God, that was that was the first one. How many more do we have? <laughs> I don't know. That already took us out of commission for like five minutes. Congratulations, Dante. Yay. We will accept the greenie on your behalf. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next up, the best entrance music from a green guy. Oh, here we First go. First up, we have Forever Young's I'm a King. Second off, we have Forever Young's You Hate Me Now. That's critical content, but second uh -oh. up, uh, sure, if you want to say that. The second up, or third up, we have Top Guns, Cobra Kai Remix. <laughs> Fuck you. You can pick Don't any. <laughs> you can pick any other song I have. But that's the we one. We gotta you pick, pick the most popular, brother. I I hate that Cobra song. Kai Remix. <laughs> Fun fact: Zoe played it in the car. If he wants me to shut up while I'm talking, and I'll just shut up for five <laughs> minutes. I won't say shit for five minutes. Also, we got AVZs. Um, I don't know what it's called. Baby metal. Baby uh, metal. Something. Speaking of baby metal, we got Solo again. Once yes. again with his baby metal song. Kyler Coleman's Sweets. I'm pretty sure that's what that song is called. We got Dante with his long oh ass god. intro. Oh my god. The intro Dante. is longer than my entrance. Dante gotta get signed, bro. <laughs> like, honestly. Could you imagine WrestleMania? Like, <laughs> had that intro, 30, 30, 45 seconds of just talking before the music even I remember hits. one time, Jude I heard that song. He was in gorilla position. He came up. It was a scramble match. All, by the time the entrances finished, he walked up. He said, man, the entrances was longer than the match should be. <laughs> I was like, that was just his, brother. <laughs> but, all right. Best entrance music from a green kid. Let's give it in three, two, one. One solo. Dante Casson. What? Like, <laughs> Again? What? Dante solo? I, it fits. And so does Dante's. 
I, first of all, I'm pretty sure he changed it from that long ass intro. Well, you know what? We're this is Dante theme version one. That sure. All right, I'm gonna pick solos because his music. Like I remember when he first changed it because his old song was a banger to me. I really liked that song, but when he changed it, like it just fit so well with everything he's going for. He comes out with the anime outfit, his like the way he moves in the ring, the way he comes out, like everything. I feel like the music fits the most his character. So, and the song is good. I really yeah, like it, and I I, so. I like the song, and I don't even know what the hell they're saying. I can't tell you one thing they say in that song, and I really like it. Yeah. And I like Dante's for all those same reasons, except I can understand the words and the 30 second intro. So can we agree to give this one to Solo? To Dante? Yes. You gave the last one to Dante. Right. So this one I think goes to Solo. All right. Solo, congratulations, congratulations on your dream. We accept that on your behalf. Thank you. Next up, we Man, got- Man, that's two for us. Yep. Man, we're doing so good. The best ring gear um, of the Green Kids. We've got Hazen Knight Beckett. Yeah, his is good. His is good. We've got Danny Astro with the rocket on his ass. It's like <laughs> white and red. Yeah, but... It's like the, right in the middle. But the rest of it's sweet as fuck. I like it. I, I like thought it. the rocket yeah. was... I wasn't saying anything. We've got... Just in time. <laughs> he had, the, he had the most amount of gear when of the, any green guy. When the fuck did you put that in? I didn't... We didn't talk that over. Just in time has like 10 different gears. He has the most gear of any green guy. Yeah, that's fair. I'll give you that. Um, Then you got... You got AVZs. The coffee Starbucks pants. They're pretty based. Pretty based. Brutus Atwell. With his ripped up uh, pants. I could go on and on and on. There's a lot of people. So let's just stop there. All right. Let's say it on three. All right. Three, two, one. Cobra Hazen Kai. Hazen Beckett Knight. Oh, okay. I still think his is fucking cool. Hazen Knight Beckett. Yeah, I like first it. First rate. I like it. He's, really he's got the fucking dance moves. <laughs> the insert video now. <laughs> yeah, insert please. That's a fucking awesome video. <laughs> Your award will be in the mail. Heel of the year. Right. We got Forever Young. Okay. Crystal Lane. All right. Kyler Coleman. Yeah. AVZ. Jeremiah Goldman. Thought the cutoff was two years. He's, uh, well, you have to have had your first match in 2020. And I'm pretty sure Jeremiah didn't do anything until 2020. No, nah, he was doing stuff in 2019, I think. Really? I think so. I think he graduated in 2019. I don't think he did anything. Maybe. Comment well, down below. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Let us we know. don't know. And, oh, Jeremiah, preferably. Comment yeah, down preferably below. preferably Jeremiah. Let us know. <laughs> so. Three, two, one. Forever Crystal Young. <laughs> what? So now you want to do this, huh? What? So so now we're joking, huh? That's not a joke. I'm being serious. Bro, she's had like, what, three matches? So? I feel like that should factor in a little bit. She gets heat. Yeah, but... Well, who else should I say? Jeremiah? Jeremiah comes out and fucking... You can just say... Daps your, up the fans. You can just say yourself or ABZ. It's okay. ABZ's a good choice. Yeah. I, I don't think ABZ. I'm healing here. Why me? Why me? Because you get very good heat. Well, thank you. Emphasis on good heat. <laughs> good. G-O-O-D. Well, most underrated of the year. So, we got Top Gun. Forever. Well, like I said, you can pick anybody. I'm just naming a few. Yeah, these are just options. Top Gun, Forever Young, Solo, Mikey Mourner, Storm, Ryan Sins, and Darian Ultra. Ooh. Three, two, one. KJ Reynolds. Sands. Oh. 
Oh. Nice. Well, <laughs> you did always like him better than Ryan. No, no, don't say that. I like both. Oh, I know, but I don't know. <laughs> I think Ryan likes me more, personally. He probably does. He probably does. A lot of people like you <laughs> more than me, brother. Brother, no, they don't. <laughs> Who are you kidding? He probably does. I just picked KJ because it's <clears throat> underrated. And I feel like a lot of people think Ryan's good. They already do. But KJ, he's teaming with Ryan and me and Kyler. And I feel like people, like, rate him lower than he actually is. I don't know. I feel like they're both in the same boat, personally. I think they're both very good for how relatively new they are. I they're do newer too. than us. I do too, but I think and both KJ's of them are already more better under, than me. I think KJ is more underrated. To me. Both are better than me. Brother. All are better than me. All of y'all, so. Face of the year. We got Top Gun. Fuck <laughs> off. God <laughs> damn it. I can't put myself in this one because I've been faced probably five times in over 100 <laughs> matches. And they were maybe five times. They were probably all in matches with me. Face? Yeah. Are you high? I, IPW, <laughs> no, IPW Capital Pro. I've that's never two. been face at IPW. Yes, you have. When? <laughs> Dude, the tag, the triple threat tag, you were face oh. for like. You're right. Five minutes. Davis is still shit on me. <laughs> she still, she still fucking hated you. But you, you were a good guy for like eight minutes and thirty seconds. So it counts in right. Capital Pro. That's two right, right off the bat. Thank you. All right. So forever young, Top Gun, the Aaron Spider, Kaiser, Aaron, Ka Iron Eagle, the yes. Spider, uh, Aaron well, Kaiser, and Solo. Iron Eagle. Are two different guys, by the way. Solo's a face. Yeah. Who else is a face? Um. Mm -hmm. I know, I know yeah. my... Oh, Brutus. Did I say Brutus? Is he a face right now? He, he was a face at some point this year. Alright. He literally screams out, Cheer for me! <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> He's a face. Yeah. Face of the year in three, two, one, Brutus so Atwell. I say Brutus because everyone fucking loves him. I go. There was a time, maybe in the summer or the fall, every time I went on Facebook, it was someone putting over Brutus. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Every time he puts out a Facebook post, it, like everyone loves it. They like it. I think Brutus is face of the year. I think he's Michigan's favorite wrestler. I'll say that right now. Michigan's favorite wrestler, Brutus Atwell. That's fair. Why solo? I just like in ring wise. I think he's probably. Like, the best out of the green kids. What does that got to do with being a face? Like, nah, like, his face work is good. Like, I like his face work. I like solo face work, too. I think he's good. He's fun. Best talker. Oh, well, okay. Should we just say it at the same time? Yeah, our nominees are AVZ, 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 Jeremiah, Forever Young, AVZ, Forever Young, and Jeremiah. There we go. I'm not up there. <laughs> I don't know why you said my name. Among the green kids, you're not the best talker? Or one Hell of the best? no. I don't think so. Okay, put, put it down in the comments if you think he's a good talker. Watch, you're all going to say yes. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one, ABZ. Yeah, brother. You don't want to go head to head with that. I would love to yeah. see Briar versus AVZ on the mic. Oh That's the one God. I would like to see. I think I my fucking head would explode. All right. My favorite category, match of the year. Yeah. Now, I changed the criteria. He wouldn't let me see what the criteria was, by the so way. So, I, I changed it to it has to be a green guy versus someone who's not green. So, oh, three, okay. three years and up. Three yeah. years and up versus two years and below. So... We got eight. Oh, well, first our matches. Forever Young yeah. versus Jason Hotch. Yeah, our matches put us over. Top Gun versus Adam Wick. Top Gun and Iron Eagle versus Adam Wick and Mysterious Movado. That's from Pro Wrestling All Stars. My match was from Metro Pro Wrestling, and his other match was from Pro Wrestling All Stars. From Metro Pro Wrestling, we have uh, Jason. Or no, uh, Abz versus Juntai, also from Metro Pro Wrestling. Darian Altshaw versus June Tai. We have from XICW. It was uh, Kyler Coleman versus The Soul Taker. From Horror Slam, ABZ, Jeremiah versus Effie. It's a triple threat. It sounded like a handicap match. Uh, from Mr. Chainsaw, Brutus Atwell versus Shogun. 
from Horace Slam, Brutus Atwell versus the Carver. Horace Slam, Kyler Coleman versus Jason Hotch. Uh, I think uh, from Pro Wrestling All Stars, Dante versus Atlas. Also from Horace Slam, Team Tennessee versus Team Michigan. <laughs> you ain't that, shit for that, saying that. That match holds a very special place in my heart. Yeah, you just want to tell the story. No. Come on, brother. <laughs> you got to tell that story sometime. No. Oh, yeah. Sometime. Next episode. Six. Yeah. Episode six. Anyway, let's say it at the same time. What's match of the year featuring a green kid? Three, two, one. Forever Jason Young versus, versus Jason, Jason Hodge. Hodge. What? Did I just say Jason Hodge versus Jason Hodge? God damn it. <laughs> I'm not doing well today. Forever Young versus Jason Hodge. There we go. You voted for that? Yes. Over Adam Wick versus Top Gun? What? Look, man. Thank you. Hey. So, I will just take this award myself. Well, I, it's still a co-award. We, we will Congratulations, be Congratulations, Forever Young. We will be accepting that on your behalf. I'll just take it. But it's a co-host podcast. I guess. Yeah. So. I think we won every award. That's crazy. We accepted every award, brother. Yeah, we won. So this will be like episode five. We'll just put it out with episode four, so there won't yeah. be no trailer. It'll just be full episode yeah. five. 4.5, so. 5, if not five. How long did we go? Uh, it's about to be 20 minutes. All right. We got to get off screen. I hope everyone congratulations on all your awards. Yeah. Brutus, Solo, Dante, Forever Young. Top Gun. And congratulations to Top Gun and Forever Young on accepting all those awards. Yeah. Such nice behalf. human beings for doing yeah, that. Yeah. Imagine that. Carrying the workload exactly. for you guys. We'll Making see you in episode Five or six? Uh, no, no, we'll figure it out on the fly, brother. All right, see you, fuckers. <laughs>